Hello and welcome to the Orthodox View. I'm your host, Philip Champion. His Holiness Patriarch Neophyte of Bulgaria issued a statement in which he called to stop the bloodshed in Ukraine. He stated that the world is witnessing hostilities between two fraternal nations, Russian and Ukrainian. Bloodshed and the deprivation of innocent human lives is unacceptable for all who seek peace, unity and love in the world. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. And blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Echo in our hearts, and are the fundamental duty of every Christian. We call upon all on whom it depends to stop the bloodshed and to bury the contradictions, to respect the basic human right to life and liberty, and to achieve, through diplomacy, the longed-for peace bequeathed to us by the Savior Christ. We offer a heartfelt prayer to the Almighty God and Father of Peace to bring an end to the strife, unrest, sedition and bloodshed that peace and goodwill might reign again among the people. Patriarch Neophyte recalled the commandment of the Lord Jesus Christ, which reflects the fundamental values of Christians. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. The clergy and lay people of the Russian, Moldavian, Romanian, Polish, Georgian and Serbian Orthodox churches are providing comprehensive assistance to all victims of hostilities in Ukraine, including those people who are left homeless and with no livelihood. The clergy of various Orthodox churches are calling everyone to pray for peace in Ukraine. Ukrainians who fled abroad are provided with shelters to stay, food and essentials. His Holiness Patriarch Kirill of Moscow in all Russia has addressed the clergy and parishioners with an appeal to provide help to the refugees. Priests are on constant duty at refugee accommodation centers, which provide targeted assistance and spiritual assistance to all who are in need. In the dioceses with a lot of refugees, cash, humanitarian donations and hot meals are organized. At the expense of the Synodal Department for Charity of the Moscow Patriarchate, food, hygiene products and stationery for children have been purchased. The Orthodox Church of Moldova is providing support to refugees from Ukraine who arrive on the territory of Moldova. For instance, the Church House of Mercy offers food to everyone who enters the country through a special checkpoint. Monasteries are collecting the necessary things and products and provide places for refugees to stay. The clergy of the Romanian Orthodox Church, together with the priests of the Chernivtsi Bokovina Diocese of the canonical Ukrainian Orthodox Church, have transported more than 2,000 refugees across the border, women and children. The Polish Orthodox Church has called on the clergy and parishioners to provide refugees from Ukraine with all necessary assistance. The Georgian Orthodox Church will send humanitarian aid to Ukraine. The Georgian parishes are collecting long-term storage products and medicines. Georgian members of clergy perform daily prayers for peace in Ukraine. The Serbian Orthodox Church has announced a collection of donations, I quote, for brothers and sisters in Ukraine who are in need. According to Patriarch Parfiri of Serbia, all the money that believers will collect in churches in the coming days will be transferred to his Beatitude Metropolitan Anufri of Kiev in all Ukraine. He says that this will be their modest contribution and expression of love delivered to where it is needed. <music> Metropolitan Luke of Zaporozhye of the canonical Ukrainian Orthodox Church has called on the clergy of the diocese to strive for unity and not allow disagreements to destroy ties between people. This is how the Metropolitan reacted to the situation in Ukraine. The hierarch emphasized the severity of the current events and recalled how the society was first divided by the Thomas of Orocephaly, then by the debates on COVID vaccination and now by the current tragic geopolitical crisis. That's why, according to the Metropolitan, it is so important to maintain unity in the present situation. More than ever, we must now be one with God and with each other. Right now, when we must all pray together for the speedy establishment of peace in our long-suffering motherland, 
Some clergymen, succumbing to emotions and proud passion, are so in division. Is today really the best time to have discussions on social media about this or that? Is this our first concern in such a terrible time? For me, not only as a bishop, but also just an orthodox person, the most terrible thing is that people who come out of the same baptismal font, whose mothers pray in the same church, on whose chests the same crosses hang, kill each other. Both of them read the same prayers before the battle and turn to the same God. The heart of the mother of God breaks when she sees all this madness of her children. Metropolitan Luke has urged the clergy of the Zaporozhye diocese not to participate in conflicts on the social media and not to get involved in politics. Instead, he asked to follow their calling and imitate Christ. Pity everyone, have mercy on everybody and show sacrificial love. Well, that's all for today. In the next episode of the Orthodox View, we will continue to inform you on the most recent ecclesiastical developments in the situation in Ukraine. May God bless you all.